Welcome to the Army Alliance video series, the ABCs of APJ. I am Sue Nappi, the Executive Director of the Army Alliance. The Army Alliance is a nonprofit civic organization that advocates for the programs, people, and jobs of Aberdeen Proving Ground, also known by the acronym APJ. This video focuses on one of APG's centers of excellence, C5ISR. C5ISR is an acronym for Command, Control, Communications, Computers, Cyber, Intelligence, Surveillance, and Reconnaissance. Previously, this acronym was called C4ISR. Same effort, just less one word beginning with a C. What does C5ISR mean in easy to understand terms? If you were to classify the type of weapon systems the Army has in its inventory, you could say the following. There are tanks, trucks, and other wheeled vehicles. There are helicopters, planes, and drones. There are artillery, mortars, and, and guns. There are missiles, bombs, and bullets. And then there is C5 ISR, the group of technologies and weapon systems that provide the Army the capability to communicate between forces and to see and hear the enemy while preventing the enemy from hearing or seeing our forces. C5 ISR includes battlefield networks and computers, radios, antennas, GPS, intelligence and decision-making tools, radars, sensors, and electronic jamming systems. Some C5 ISR weapon systems are standalone systems, such as a handheld radio. Other systems are integrated into tanks, airplanes, helicopters. This mission came to APG as a result of a 2005 base realignment and closure action also known by the acronym BRAC. There are five major organizations here at APG that work as APG Team C5 ISR, and they're listed in the box on the slide of your screen. C C5 ISR research and development is done by the C5 ISR Center of the Combat Capabilities Development Command, also known by the acronym DEVCOM. Research and development can be focused on hardware and or software. The research may become part of an existing C5 ISR piece of equipment or become a new piece of equipment. When a technology has reached a certain level of maturity, it is transitioned to a program executive office known by the acronym PEO, who will oversee the technology as it becomes a named weapon system, gets further developed, goes on contract to be produced by the defense industry and then fielded to a soldier to use. We have two program executive officers at APG that support C5 ISR. Program Executive Office Command Control Communications Tactical, known by the acronym PEO C3T, develops, acquires fields, and supports the Army's network, a critical modernization priority. PEO C3T delivers the hardware and software required to provide Army forces with a mobile, simple to use, and hardened tactical network. PEO C3T provides Army operational units with radios, computers, servers, apps, and other hardware and software required for their missions. Reporting to the PEO are project managers, known by, their, by the acronym PM. Each PM has a portfolio of systems within their responsibility. On your chart are the current list of PMs reporting to this PEO. The Program Executive Officer Intelligence, Electronic Warfare and Sensors, known by the acronym PEO IEWNS, develops and integrates sensors and sensor data across multiple technologies, ensuring warfighters have a complete understanding of the battlefield. Sensors, radars, intelligence collection and dissemination equipment, as well as missile countermeasures for aircraft, all fall under this PEO. The PMs that report to this PO are listed on the chart on your screen. This PO also has two project directors, known as the acronym PD, that report to this PO. The Army has six modernization priority areas, and they're listed on the chart on your screen. To speed up the process of satisfying each of these modernization needs, cross-functional teams, known as CFTs, were stood up in 2019 as part of the Army Futures Command. One of the modernization priorities is networking. As a result, the network cross-functional team was stood up at APG. They are a core group of experts and they are addressing the most pressing challenges to the tactical network 
that our soldiers use on the battlefield. The Communications Electronics Command, known by the acronym CECOM, is our final member of Team C5ISR. CECOM is, is the organization that is responsible for maintaining and sustaining C5ISR systems, both the hardware and software. CECOM provides training and field support to our soldiers. CECOM logisticians ensure our C5ISR systems are available where and when needed, along with the required spare parts. CECOM software engineers ensure system software updates are made and systems are hardened against cyber intrusions. C5 ISR systems are in the hands of soldiers across the entire formation of the Army, the Army Reserves, and the Army National Guard, as well as, as in the other military services. So maintaining and sustaining these systems is a huge job. In the box on the chart are the sub-organizations of CECOM. Those in red are located at APG. Please watch our other episodes of the APCs of APG. Feel free to reach out to the Army Alliance and visit our website, read about our accomplishments, or attend one of our events. Thank you for listening in, and I hope you feel like you know at least a little bit more about APG.